The development of deep mining of mineral raw materials increased the need for transporting large amounts of material, people, and oversized loads over relatively long distances underground and in various geological conditions. Currently used methods of transport were evaluated as unsatisfactory. Rail transport requires a straight and stable subgrade for its tracks and is applicable only to a gradient of three degrees or the use of drawing cables, which is very dangerous. Transport using traction vehicles with pneumatic tires is also limited and is applicable only up to a grade of 15 or maximum 17 degrees. This gave rise to the task of finding new options for transporting material and people in mines. It had to be efficient, operative, and safe under all topographical conditions. In the 1980s, a new method of transport started to be used in mines, monorail suspended transport which is operated on a suspended section of specially designed I-155. The mine work can be built in the load-bearing rock or used as concrete, panel or bolted reinforcement, most typically steel arch profiles P, K, TH and V. The permitted loading of the mine reinforcement along the monorail line must not exceed values permitted by mining regulations and standards in the country of use. Suspended transport can be operated by open cable using a drawing winch, suspended locomotives or approved tractors. The suspended line is built as a kit made up of main parts and accessories which can be combined variously complemented with mechanical, pneumatic, or electrical components, and therefore, an efficient transport solution for every underground operation can be built. Suspended transport is ideal for almost all mining geological conditions with shaft gradients up to 30 degrees, or up to 40 degrees in the case of geared traction vehicles. Simple anchoring of the transport track in the mineshaft ceiling enables use of this transport solution in almost all driven shaft profiles. Material, people and oversized loads can be transported comfortably without the need to clear away obstacles from mine shafts. Conveyor belts or other transport systems can simply be crossed over in the air. Also, Complications caused by mining geological impacts, such as footwall swelling, are minimized and do not cause any problems to the transport system. All these advantages increased the interest in the introduction of mine-suspended transport and the development of locomotives, cabins, cars and manipulators began. At the beginning of the 1990s, suspended locomotives with an independent diesel engine drive started to be used as traction vehicles. They replaced dangerous cable drawing units and this was a major breakthrough in the entire system of mine transport in inclined mine shafts. This solution substantially increased transport efficiency, decreased manpower intensity, and increased safety by up to 90%. Moreover, the traction force of traction vehicles with independent drives exceeds the traction force of common winches by up to 10 times. Furthermore, the time necessary to transport a load is cut by up to six times, and operation requires only two people. But development went even further, and today, Traction vehicles with diesel engines are being replaced by independent, battery-powered units which eliminate all the drawbacks of combustion engines, eliminating the need for increased fresh air volume, particularly in unbroken through mine shafts. Noise, combustion gas emissions, the need for the replacement of consumable parts such as filters and seals, and the need for topping up operating fluids. 
Suspended cabins can be used to efficiently transport persons in mines, especially over long distances. The capacity of one suspended set can be up to 160 people. There are many versions of transport cabins. Special ambulance cabins are also available for the transport of injured people. Therefore, an injured person can be transported to the surface or transport vehicle in a very short time, when every minute counts. Currently, suspended cars are made with a load-bearing capacity of four to six tons. However, their specific load capacity must be specified in the technological data for specific use. Considering the suspended line design used, and length of direct line segments. The basic criterion for load capacity of a suspended line is always the distance between suspenders. The monorail suspended line system also includes various lifting, handling and auxiliary equipment which facilitate and accelerate auxiliary activities during transport and mining works. These include primarily stable and mobile lifting equipment facilitating loading and unloading of material. Lowered ramps, automatic control of switches or whole lines, systems for communication between locomotive drivers and control centers, crossings over transport vessels for vertical transport, and crossing systems over insulation facilities and others. The service life of a suspended monorail line in normal use is very long. Its components, particularly suspenders, line sections and anchoring elements can be used repeatedly The costs of transferring lines total only 5 to 10 percent of the purchased costs. Moreover, the weight per unit length of the line is two times less than in the case of railway tracks, which brings savings during actual moving of components from concluded to new mine operations. Other advantages include simple assembly, disassembly, and maintenance of lines compared to other transport types. All of these advantages make monorail suspended transport with independent traction vehicles the technically and economically most viable transport system for limited underground conditions. It's the simplest, safest, and cheapest. Ferret specializes in the delivery of comprehensive solutions for suspended transport systems in deep mines. We offer design of transport projects for specific mine operations, turnkey delivery and installation of suspended lines, delivery of all necessary machines, including operators, staff training, and of course, non-stop warranty and post-warranty service. As we not only deliver this technology, but develop and manufacture it ourselves, we can operatively modify our machines for specific mine conditions. And now, what can you find in the Ferret Suspended Transport range? From the range of traction vehicles, we offer the suspended mining locomotive DLZ-110F. And furthermore, the fully electronically controlled suspended locomotive DLZ-210F, designed for the most demanding mine works. Other traction vehicles include mine diesel hydraulic and electric manipulators, which are ideal for handling loads over short distances. They can also be used as an independent source of hydraulic pressure to power other auxiliary equipment. All these traction vehicles can be equipped with methane meters and other control and diagnostic equipment which provide for their reliable and safe operation in the mine. We offer lifting equipment with load capacities of 2 to 40 tons for lifting and handling materiel and oversized loads.
For the transport of people, we manufacture several types of cabin, which vary in configuration and size. We also provide ambulance cabins for the transport of injured people. The transport of small or powdery material can be performed using various suspended transport containers with a load capacity of up to 17 tons. These can be used to transport liquids, explosives, powdery materiel, steel, wood, or other materials used in underground operations. For steep gradients of up to 40 degrees, we offer a suspended monorail line with geared racks which transmits torque from traction vehicles without slipping. The system is developed especially for transporting very heavy machines in steeply graded mine shafts. The effect of this solution is a unique combination of original suspended transport in mine operations not exceeding 25 degrees in gradient with direct link to operations with gradients of up to 40 degrees, with the aim of transporting sets up to 35 to 40 tons without the need to disconnect the set. This achieves an even greater transport efficiency and reduces delays in transiting stops. Moreover, both suspended monorail systems can be combined as necessary. Therefore, current users of underground suspended monorail transport do not have to introduce a new transport system, but only complement it with a line equipped with geared racks. In the following examples, you can see products from the Ferret Suspended Transport range in detail.